Hey guys, how's it going? Kevin Cleary here with a knife video for you. Today we have a comparison between two spectacular knives. Both of these are fantastic. Both of these are knives I enjoy a lot, would recommend easily to anyone. And both of them are also very similar. And I've been specifically asked by a couple of people to compare these two. So there's a lot, and, and I can totally get why, because these are very similar in price point, very similar in size, weight, uh, philosophy, you know, every Everything that you can think of. These are very, very comparable knives. Um, so, uh, the other, I guess, the other thing I should say by way of introduction is these come from two different sort of design backgrounds, if you will. This, of course, is based on a hinderer design in the XM18, but built by Kershaw or Zero Tolerance. This is based on a Ferrum Forge design, primarily the Archbishop, but uh, you know, we has tweaked that design a little bit and just sized it up a little. And so for that reason, I actually like this a little more than the standard version of the Archbishop. So uh, let's get into size and weight on these. They are very close. All right. So what we have here is eight and a quarter inches. We've got eight and yeah, three sixteenths inches here. So really, really close in overall length. Three and five eighths on the blade length here. That's not including that little sort of extended uh, piece that wraps around the the blade stop there. Uh, this guy is going to be right on three and a half inches. So again, within just a, a fraction of an inch of one another. Uh, handle length on these two, we've got four and seven eighths here, four and eleven sixteenths here. So closed, this guy's going to be a little bit shorter. All right, and I think that's pretty obvious, but I'll I'll show it to you closed anyway, just so you can sort of see that. Okay, so you can kind of see that this is a little shorter than that guy. Let's let's uh, switch things up so you can look at the lock side as well. And grip area on these two, we've got three and seven eighths inches of grip area here and three and seven eighths over here. So very, very close. Now the biggest discrepancy is actually going to be on the weight. This is 5.4 ounces, this is six ounces. So this is a hefty little guy. Um, but at six ounces, honestly, I don't really care that much about it. Like that's not the kind of weight that I'm gonna concern myself with. Although probably some of you will, and that this one is notably lighter. Um, in terms of how they carry in pocket, uh, both of them are pretty good, but the ZT because of the, the slightly less weight and because of that very nicely done clip does carry just a little more comfortably. It's also, I don't know, it, it has a flatter profile to it, so it doesn't seem as noticeable against your leg, or at least against my leg. Okay, so the, the ZT is gonna win for size, weight, and carry, all right? Uh, and, and of course, you know, had they milled this out, that probably could have made a difference, but they didn't. So here we are. Uh, moving on to the blade, all right? We've got M390. Let's see, I'll show you this guy. So M390, satin finish, uh, very, very high sort of saber-ish grind on here. Really, really attractive blade, I think. This is, uh, this is a blade that I enjoy an awful lot. Now you can see how Wii's satin finish, see how the lines are not sort of connected, if you will, when you compare this to the grinder satin on the ZT. You can definitely notice a distinctive difference there. I don't mind that. In fact, I kind of like Wii's just a little bit better. I don't know, maybe not. They're very close, I, and I don't mind either one, but I know some guys um, like that very even parallel line look, and I definitely understand that, especially paired with uh, that bit of a contrast from the stone wash. I enjoy that an awful lot. Um, I guess while we're talking about this, we should point out we've got 20 CV steel, M390 steel. Uh, we've got the slicer grind here and a bit more of a saber-ish grind here. Both are draw points. Uh, in terms of performance, they're very, very close, but I actually will, will say, that the Wii is a little better balanced in my opinion. And that's because it's a little thinner behind the edge and it's thicker blade stock, okay? But because of the height of that grind, it's a more gentle slope overall. And therefore I feel just a little less resistance as I'm moving through material. Now you are losing some cutting edge. To me, that's not a huge deal, but perhaps for some of you uh, it would be 
Uh, and so my money in this case is going to go to the Wii. I like the look of the blade a little bit better uh, in terms of just the grind and the overall design. And I also like that it's just a little thinner behind the edge. All right, moving over to action. Now, this is one where, you know, it's probably fairly obvious to most of you which one is going to win here. But very quickly, we've got on the zero tolerance, I, obviously both are frame locks. Um, both have all the typical tradition modern frame lock stuff okay so we've got steel lock bar insert over travel stop steel lock bar insert over travel stop on bearings now these are ceramic bearings this is the typical kershaw kvt you know the plastic cage bearings you've seen on lots of zts the detent is is pretty snappy here um i've complained before about the the hook here on this but uh it's not bad okay it's not that i it, it ruins the knife or anything like that um however when you switch over to the Wii, it is a little smoother. And generally speaking, uh, Wiis are going to have a little better action than your typical ZT. And that this is, you know, no exception to that rule. Very, very nice action on the Wii Knives Malice. And so this one's really, really obvious. Uh, the Wii pretty clearly has the better action of the two. Although, let me say this, both are very comfortable. Both lock bars are easy to access. Both flip reliably. You know, it's not that one doesn't do what I want it to do or anything like that. It's just a, a matter of degrees. And so Wii Knife definitely gets the nod in terms of the action there. All right, now let's move on to the handle. Uh, obviously full tie on both of these, flame anno on this one, uh, plain stonewash titanium on this one. Obviously, well, maybe you're not, some of you may not be aware, but there are a number of versions of this knife. So this is the full tie version. There's also a carbon fiber and a G10 version. And you'll also find these in a couple of other steels because they've, they've you know, ZT switched almost exclusively now to 20 CV, but before they were using CTS 204P and M390. Uh, and they've also, in the uh, the G10 version of this, you're going to get LMAX, okay? So there are some various steels out there um, and, and various uh, finish options on this, okay? So you can find carbon fiber, G10, and titanium. Uh, this guy, you can find only the flame anno or plain titanium, which is sort of a bead blasted finish. I, I like the flame anno quite a bit better. Um, so that's how, now, so th that's sort of the construction options and stuff like that. Just in case you're saying, you know, it's just, if it's just the color, I just kind of want people to be aware that there are different options for the ZT if, if you would prefer that. Uh, standoff construction, okay, versus backspacer construction. That's one of the things that geared backspacer is one of the things that contributes to that hefty weight. There is see if I can show you here. Yeah, there you go. There is some internal milling on the ZT. There's nothing on the Wii. All right. And then finally, uh, so for construction, look, both of these are high-end titanium frame locks. Both of them are very well put together. Uh, I, and you're not, you know what I mean? These are both very good companies who know how to build a knife. Now, the, the big comparison is going to be how these feel in hand, as well as your own personal preference. Okay. So from a straight comfort in a saber grip standpoint from from wow sorry i had such a hard time getting that sentence to come out so from a purely comfort standpoint in a standard saber grip okay the zt wins it is more comfortable now if you're a choil guy obviously and i am a big choil guy having the option to have that finger choil and to, to get up on the knife like that, to me is highly appealing. It's one of the reasons I tend to like Fair and Forge knives so much. And so for me, I end up picking this particular configuration more so for the choil than just for the straight comfort. However, I'm going to call the ZT the winner in this category because it really is more comfortable. All right. So what about overall? Now, part of this is going to be personal preference, okay? Because, you know, maybe you're a huge Hinderer fan and so you want the 0562 because of the Hinderer influence because you, you know, you just think it's a better version of, of an XM18. On the other hand, maybe you're a huge Ferrum Forge Knifeworks fan and you want this because it's similar to an archbishop. In my case, I that's one of the reasons I love this. I'm a huge Ferrum Forge fan. Um, you've seen many of their knives on this channel and many of the production version of their knives on this channel. 
Uh, to pick one that I like better, I really couldn't do that. I really like both Hinderer and Ferrum Forge uh, about equally in terms of, you know, that as a company and, and their, their design style and stuff like that. Uh, in terms of these specific knives, the overall package, I do like the Malice a little bit better, right? If you held the gun to my head and said I could only keep one of these, for me, it's going to be the Malice. In fact, the Malice is is on my short list of favorite knives. I really, really enjoy it. Um, the, the ZT is definitely on my list of best ZTs. All right, but it's not quite in my very, very upper echelon of favorite all of all time knives. Now, Having said all of that, I totally get why some people would disagree with me. There are a lot of reasons to love the 0562 and especially the 0562 Ti. And I'm not arguing with any of you because if you say, you know, this is my favorite knife, I think it's the greatest knife of all time, I, 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 <laughs> I can't prove you're wrong, right? Okay, partially that's, that's subjective, but also I agree that it's a fantastic, fantastic knife. Okay, so this one, the reason I like this a little better, I like the flame anno, the styling gets me some, some uh, you know, gets some style points for me. I like the blade a little bit better and the action is definitely noticeable. Okay, so um, you are gonna notice a difference there. And, and so what I would say about both of these is they're very, very good. They're, you know, if you're watching this and you're looking for something that's super high end and gonna almost deliver that custom feel. Both of these are almost there. I would probably move to a Riot to really get have that fully realized for you. Okay, but definitely neither one of these knives is anything to pass up. And uh well, I'm going to go with the Malice as the winner in my particular comparison. I would not argue with anyone who picked the ZT over it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to use those uh, links down below. That definitely helps the channel a whole lot. And uh, I think... Uh, I think this will be a DLT trading video. So if you use that link to DLT trading, that does help the channel. Uh, you know, I get a small commission off every sale. So that's kind of the way that works. Now, I I've had this question before, so I'll address it here now. If you go to DLT trading and the price of something is stupidly high, don't buy it there, guys. Sorry. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm definitely a consumer driven type of guy. And I think we need to be shopping for the very best prices all the time. And so I'm not asking you to pay more to help me out. Okay. I'm really not. Uh, if there's a better price, get it elsewhere. Uh, what I like about DLT trading is they have a lot of higher end stuff that really isn't easily available at other places. And it's map pricing anyway uh, for a lot of their stuff. So they're, they're, everyone's the same price. So if that's the situation, then yes, go ahead and use that DLT link and that does help me out. Okay, that's all I've got for you. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll talk to you soon.